hello lovelies we are a couple of weeks into year 12 now and you might have noticed some differences in the way that classes are working and this is completely normal and while obviously there are going to be some little differences between school what i'm going to say now generally applies to most lessons and it will generally apply to most subjects as well so one of the big differences i bet you've noticed is that you don't have exercise books anymore and you don't have necessarily like worksheets that's given out to you to stick into those exercise books I bet you're working with a folder now this for teachers can sometimes be a little bit of sort of trauma if you are not organized so in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to organize your folders for year 12 and for six on Having worked with year 12 classes for years, I've seen students do lots and lots of different things. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I think I've seen work best for students. Now things are changing quite a lot and I know some of you will be completely digital for all of your work that you will have individual devices at school and actually you'll much prefer to take notes on your computer or on your iPad. But I'm still pretty old school despite all of this so what I see in my classrooms is people having what I would call like a home school folder so a folder that you just take in your that you have in your bag and goes to and from school and what you need to have in there is well a your folder you need to have a blank bit of a blank pad of paper you need to have some dividers for all your different subjects if you've got a glossary for a set of subjects that is a great place to put it or if you've got a dictionary for a set of subjects that is a great place to put it and then just have a load of little post-it note tag things as well this is going to be a folder that stays in your bag so when you're in school when you're writing up notes and at this point i don't want the notes to be that you're writing up in school to be perfect notes okay they can be as messy as you like because we're going to do something with those later so the notes you write in class the work that you do in class gets filed in the home school folder um, in the divide different different dividers for each subject and that's the one that goes to and from school i would say roughly once a week take this folder it can be over the weekend or it can be during one of your independent study periods Take this folder and take everything out and then put it into your home folders. Now, your home folders are the ones that stay at home. They might go into school when you have to do folder checks and when you have your teacher check over all of your work. But generally, these are kind of the ones that will stay at home and these are where your perfect notes go. So what I want you to do is to take the notes, the rough notes, the maybe slightly messy notes, that you made in school and write them up in neat. So at this point, we can be getting all our different colors out, we can be getting our highlighters out, and for keywords, you can highlight keywords or write keywords in a different color and put the definition under it. You can go crazy with post-it notes and stickers and tape at this point and decorate your notes the way that works for you. I know some people will just be black pen on white paper and I personally love color coding things. So I'll have the keywords in one color and then I'll have the definition in another color. And when I'm drawing, example, chemistry is my subject, when I'm drawing mechanisms for chemistry, I'll have this arrow in this color and this arrow in this color and the different colors mean different things to me. And this is the point. You need to write your notes up in a way that is meaningful for you and then file them away so you'll see that i've got home folders over here they are very very neat they're very very tidy and in those home folders what i want you to have is your work from class written up in neat any homework that you've done and received feedback on there written up in neat and then your independent study for that lesson as well now what I mean by independent study is um, if you've just had a lesson, I know it's very early on in the year, like time of flight mass spectrometry is an example that will um, lots of chemistry students will be doing in year 12. At the moment that's a video that I published last week for A Level Chemistry. Go and watch that video and find the extra examples. Go and watch everyone else's video or everyone else's textbook on that and find the examples and copy them up into your folder. So in your folder, you don't just have the notes that you have from class, you don't just have your homework on that subject, but you've gone and got all of the extra bits as well that you found for that topic. And it doesn't have to take huge amounts of time because at this point, I'm not asking you to do huge amounts of thinking. I'm just asking you to write your notes up in neat, 
in a way that works for you. I'm asking you to add to your notes with extra examples. So I'm not saying you have to go and do loads and loads of exam questions. I'm asking you to go and find a load of stuff to copy down and add into your notes. And then in two months time as revision, as part of your independent study, you can go back to those notes, look at the question, cover up the answer, and see if you can answer that question from scratch, having maybe not done too much revision on that topic. And then you should be able to just like uncover the answer in your notes and you've got it there for you. So at this point, and year 12 and in year 13, if you haven't started doing this already, um, in fact, year 13 is a great time to start doing this if you weren't doing it in year 12. Start building a textbook that is specific to you and what you understand. Because the textbooks that have been written, the textbooks that I've worked on, they're great, they're amazing, but they are very expensive. And I know that's not as accessible or available to everybody. Or you might have one textbook and everyone will have a different textbook and they say different things. In the textbook, somebody else will have decided how much to define this keyword. And for you, that might be enough, or it might be too much, or it might be too little. You might need to expand on that keyword a little bit more to help you understand it. So write up the notes in a way that works for you. It might be adding stuff, it might be taking stuff away. This is a very, very personal section. I am begging you to get this started and sorted out and get into the habit of doing it now because it will make things so much easier when we get to a year's time and um, things are already sorted. It's awful when we get to Christmas and you ask your students to do a folder check and they pull out a massive wadge of notes that are mixed up with other subjects and have lunch spilt on them and it's a horrific takes ages to sort out. If we do it a little bit as we're going along, it is so, so much easier. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.